Hello and Namaste, I'm Suresh Kunal and this is a video about the solution of Computer Operator Practice Suits 75-03. In this video, I'm going to answer and explain the questions from this set. You can get this set from mcqsets.com website. For that, open the browser and on the address bar of your browser, go to, uh, type mcqsets.com. It will land you to the home page of MCQ sets. Scroll down a little bit. You can find the recent post. Computer Operator Practice Sheet 75-03. You can click it here. Or if it is not in this recent list, you can go to the home and find the post listed here. Okay, go to the computer operator MCQ practice sheet 75-03. Click on this link. It will open this set. Here's the third set of computer operator uh, practice sheet from this series. So let me go to the questions. Well, these are the questions from this set. The first question was, which of the following is an example of automatic text formatting? Underlining hyperlink, adjusting extra space, replacing two dashes with iPhone, all of above. Among these four options, the question asks, which of these is done by MS Word automatically? The correct answer is all of above. MS Word can underline hyperlink automatically. It can adjust extra spaces and replacing two dashes with a hyphen is done automatically. Let me show you in MS Word. Here's my application. Zoom it a little bit. Take it to the left hand side on the screen. Okay, if you type any hyperlink, http colon slash slash mcqsets.com space so the color turned to the blue and underline came automatically so the first option underlining hyperlink is done by ms word automatically similarly adjusting extra spaces and replacing two dashes with a hyphen how ms word is doing it automatically that is according to the settings you configure in autocorrect options you can find autocorrect options on the file options in the proofing category, there's autocorrect options button, which will open the autocorrect options dialog box. And when you go to the auto format, it has got some settings to turn on and off, like straight quotations will be converted to the smart quotation automatically. Similarly, one ST ordinal will be replaced with a superscript. And fractions, when you write 1 slash 2, it will automatically convert to the 1 upon 2. Hyphens, dash dashes with a single dash. And asterisk, bold asterisk. Any word uh, with asterisk at the uh, preceding and succeeding with the asterisk will be converted. Uh, bold and uh, underscore at the front and underscore at the last character will be converted into the italic. Uh, this kind of formatting, MS Word Builder uh, can do it automatically. Sincerely, internet and network path with hyperlink. So because of this checkbox, this hyperlink, uh, it was automatically formatted. That's why the correct answer of the question number one will be all of the above. Now let's proceed to question number two. What type of computers are client computers most of the time in a client server system? Well, in client-server uh, computing model, uh, supercomputers, mainframe computers, microcomputers, they are very expensive computers and very powerful computers. They are often used as servers in the central location so that they'll provide service to many other computers. And uh, mainframe computer, uh, sorry, and the microcomputers, they are used as clients. Uh, in today's scenario also, like um, the website, it is being presented to you is served on a server some powerful computer on the hosting company they are using the mini computers or mainframe computers and we as a user use our personal computers 
or microcomputers to access these websites. So, uh, in most cases, in most of the time, the client computers are the microcomputers. So, microcomputer is the correct answer for question number two. In case of question number three, which of the following command is used to close the active window? Well, Control F4, Control F5, Alt F6, and none of above. This question and these options are not much confusing here. But if you are given Control F4 and Alt F4, if both those two options are given, then most of the students are making mistakes. Remember that Control F4 is the shortcut key to close the active window or close the active document. It closes the document window, whereas Alt F4 closes the application window. For example, here I'm opening MS Word application and document 1 document. If I press Ctrl F4, this will close the document window. So it's asking whether I want to save it. If I say don't save, then the document is closed, but the application window is not closed yet. But if you press Alt F4, this will close the document window also and application window also. But in case of question number three, we don't have Alt F4, so there is nothing to confuse. Simply Ctrl F4 is the shortcut key to close the active window. Let's go towards question number four. Uh, which of the following software applications would be the most appropriate for uh, performing the numerical and statistical calculation? Well, if there is a, a lot of calculation, uh, you need to work with the numbers or the data statistics, then obviously spreadsheet applications are the best choice. They are the uh, application that can help you like um, MS Excel or Lotus or these kind of applications. Because database application, they are efficient. Databases, they are very good to store large number of uh, data, large number of records and uh, retrieve very quickly whenever you need. The focus of database is the capability of storing and retrieving data as soon as possible. Whereas the focus of document processor is to create documents rather than calculating. It is uh, more focused on designing, proofing and editing kind of tasks. And these graphic packages, they are good for editing and creating the pictures, images, graphics. So spreadsheet. Option D is the correct answer for question number four. And question number five, special effects used to introduce slides in presentation are called option A, transition, B, effect, C, custom animation, D, present animation. Okay, special effects can be the transitions or animations. But the question says that effect is used while introducing slides that means when a slide comes into the show, that effect is applied. Effects that apply while introducing slides is the transition. Uh, custom animation are the effects that are applied to the different objects of a slide and they run when that particular slide is being displayed. Once the slide goes, that animation is no more there. Or this animation is not applied uh, when the slide is coming in or slide is going out. That's why the custom animation is not the correct answer, but transition, slide transition is the correct answer. Uh, question number six, which of the following file system is best suitable for larger volume such as one terabyte? Okay, it's asking about the file system uh, for the larger hard disks, larger volumes, uh, FAT16, FAT32, NTFS and FAT. Among these four options, NTFS is more suitable for the larger uh, hard disks like 1 terabyte or 500, uh, 500 gigabytes or 1 terabytes or more than this, NTFS file system is the best suitable one. So question uh, option C is the correct answer of question number 6. The one essential folder in any storage device is called the question number 7. The parent directory, platform, interface, root directory. A parent directory is a directory which contains another subdirectory inside it. Platform is not related to the question in any way. Interface 
is not related to the directories and hierarchy. So very obviously, it's a root directory. In any disk, there should be at least one directory that is created while formatting that disk. And all the directories, subdirectories, file, etc. are stored inside that directory. And that directory is the root directory. And root directory in most cases are uh, denoted with a slash. And in case of Windows, it is denoted with a backslash. That's why in DOS, when we write cd backslash, we are instructing the computer to go to change the directory to the root. cd is change directory and this backslash is root. Similarly, when we write cd and dot dot, this is change directory, cd, change to where? This dot dot is the uh, notation for parent, parent directory. cd dot dot uh, change the current di working directory to the uh, parent directory, whereas cd backslash change the directory to the uh, root directory, our working directory, make, our work, make the root our working directory. So root directory is the correct answer for the question number seven. Question number eight, Checks the network address of source and destination contained in the package. Okay, this question, uh, this kind of question was there in the earlier set also. Uh, and that question it was to check the uh, physical address. And here we have got the network address on this question. A device which checks the physical address and uh, forward the data uh, in the network is a breeze or switch. But if a device checks the network address, network address is the IP address. If a device checks the network address and determines which route will be the best for this packet to send, then that device is a router. It's a layer 3 device in OSI model and works in network layer. So router is the correct answer for this question number 8. Question number 9 which is not a valid for an attribute setting. And the options given here are C, H, S, and R. This is a question related to the MS-DOS. In MS-DOS, we have got attrib command, which changes the file attribute. And file attributes is the file properties, whether a file is a read-only file, or hidden file, or system file, or it's ready for archiving. So those kind of properties you can specify to the file and these settings can be uh, applied or changed by using the attrib command in ms-dos. When you simply type attrib and press enter in ms-dos, it will display you the list of files and their attributes. But when you try, when you type attrib plus h and then your file name, it will add the hidden attribute to that file name. That means that file will no longer be listed in the dir command or file listing anywhere. So h is an attribute, file attribute. Similarly, there is another attribute s to mean that the file is a system file. There is the uh, r attribute to mean that this is a read-only file. And we already said s is there to for the hidden file if a file is hidden it has got h attribute in it similarly there's also a attribute for archive this file can be uh, collected when you are making an archive or when you use zip commands or any archiving commands the files having a attribute will be included there so these four are the file attributes and we have got option A uh, with the C attribute and this we don't have any C attribute. So option A is the correct answer because it is not valid for an attribute setting. Question number 10, to delete a particular column, to delete a particular column in a relation, the command used is update, drop, alter or delete. This question uh, can confuse you with the drop and alter because in database, you know that drop command is used to delete. 
But here, we need to delete a particular column. That means a table has many columns and you need to delete a column from table. And that can be done by using alter, alter command. Alter table name, drop this field. Well, to delete a column, we use the command alter table. Suppose we have table name student and from this student table we want to delete a field named uh, parent like parents so this command in sql will delete the parents column from student table so alter table drop parent here this drop is the argument for alter table command for this alter command and drop is not a separate command in this situation. So the correct answer of question number 10 will be alter, not drop. And delete is not there or to change the structure in DDL, data definition language, we don't have delete. Update is not there for the columns. So alter is the correct answer. Question number 10, correct answer is C. Okay, these were the 10 uh, questions from this third set of computer operator MCQ practice sheets and here some friends have answered these questions and uh, Rajendra made nine correct answers with one mistake similarly Deepika has given seven correct answers so this way you also can answer the questions and I will check and tell you the uh, result as well as i'll send you one email containing the correct answers and explanations uh, a pdf file attached with the email and there were two guys guys answering this question um, who made all the answers correct like karna chand karna chand he has answered all correct no wrong outstanding very good similarly there is another one also who was who was he or she answered it correct here this is uh Nabin Ghimire he also answered all correct outstanding I guess these two were the guys to answer all these questions very correctly others they have tried very well and if you also want to answer the question and participate in this practice session, you can write your answers in the comment box. Write them in horizontal order, please. Like if the correct answer of 1 is C, write 1C. And two, if the correct answer of 2 is D, write 2D. So this way you can write your answer in the comment box. And type your name in the name box, your email address in email. This is very important for me to send you the PDF file. And website not necessarily leave it blank and post and click on post comment to submit your answer okay that's all for this third set of the computer operator MCQ practice sheets and tomorrow we will be discussing about the fourth set see you again thank you